Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is going to be another quick tip for your mixed media. Whether you are a seasoned mixed media artist or you are just starting out, um, one of the things I get asked a lot about are making things at home uh, to make different marks, different faux stencil-like kind of things, stamp-like kind of things. So I'm going to show you something. Now, this is uh this isn't going to be mind blowing, but <laughs> it can definitely help you do a background on an ATC card, um and and so many things. Um, I was going to save this for the ATC card that um the the series that I'm doing, but I'll still do it on there. But I'm going to do it on paper for you now. It's just a quick tip. So as you can see, you can see kind of indentations. This is Elmer's uh, white school glue. Um, any white school glue, any glue, whatever. You can use a dropper, you can use, you know, you want it thick. Um, and this is just printer paper, okay? So what you will do is you will take your glue. Now school's coming back to around and everybody's having their school sales, school supply sales, which is one of my favorite times of the year. Um, because that's just, I'm just a pen, pencil, glue kind of person. Um, so take <coughs> your school glue, whatever kind you want, whatever kind you have, um, go to the dollar store and let's say you're doing, let's pretend like this is a mixed media, uh, canvas, even an ATC card. So what I'm going to do, and I did flowers over here is I'm going to take it and you can be very, uh, you know, what word do I want to say? You can be careful and make different patterns of what you want to do. Circles, non-circles, whatever. You can see that's kind of like a flower. So I will just take and make a little boopy in the middle. Okay. And you can see I did that over here. I did a sun here. Uh, just playing. I mean, do hearts. You could do a million hearts. And then you can just, um, you know, make your sun rays whatever way you want. You can go over if it's not as thick as you want it. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Um, you can do hearts everywhere. And the, the good thing is, you know, you can make it look very, very, uh, you know, your own way, right? Your own kind of gig. Or you can make it more and you go back and you touch it up and it's a lot of fun. Then what you can do is this is fun with uh, watercolor. It's fun with... I'm going to use, do I, I don't know if I have any watercolor sitting here. Do I? Oh yeah, maybe this will work. Oh, well, let me get it. This is my Windsor and Newton. And that's a mixed media watercolor thing. <laughs> All right. I'm going to set this here and spray it. Um, I don't know, I'll just spray. To get it a little moist. You should leave it sit for a few minutes. But like I said, I'm not really a watercolor you know, person. I like using it in my mixed media. Um, but you can use, of course, acrylic paint. This is just my uh, ink pad that I took off with my brush. Um, or you can just do this and do it over it. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, it's whatever you want. So like I said, if this is your uh, ATC card, your mixed media, do a, uh, have a bunch of your blank ATC cards out and just go to town with the glue. And then when you wake up the next day, you're going to have um, this dried deliciousness. Okay. So here we go. I have a wet brush, whatever brush you want. Use a foam brush, use, use whatever. Um, and let's go in with some red. This is watercolor we're going to do. Okay. And I'm going to do it on this one. So look how it resists. I should move in some. Look how it resists the paint. See that? So imagine if you do doodles or whatever, and then you can do that. And then when it's dry, you can always go in and dab off that water and the paint with a little damp. There we go. Just a little damp uh, piece of paper towel or whatever you use. Paintbrush. And then you have, look at the design. Look how cool that is. And that's just your normal watercolor. Do another color. And you can go on. I mean, we can add some blue in the water if you want to change the color a little bit. I mean, blue on the brush. I'm sorry. And you can make, look at that, how it's making it purple. See what I'm saying? So you just play. 
And like I said, do it on your, you know, your ATC cards. I don't have, I'll use acrylic paint next, but I don't have my, uh, do I have any sprays here? I don't think I have any sprays here to do that right now, but let's take, you know, let's do some yellow. And I'll just do a little bit of acrylic paint, just a bloop. Oh, look, the, I, I'm, it's never a bloop. I'm just shutting it. All right. <laughs> I'm a mess. All right, so I'm going to take some of my yellow, go into the sun. And you can see the texture in there, but it might take a few minutes to dry. But you can go in with your damp towel. I don't know how well you're going to see it till it's dry, but you definitely can see the white um, coming up now with your damp towel, right? Love it. So look at all these different things you can do. So much fun. ATC cards, just set them in, even if you just kind of go like this, right? If you just are like going on, oh, I closed it. It would help if I opened it, wouldn't it? Here we go. Going on my ATC cards and make designs and then let it dry. And you have a um, really cool background to play with, you know? So yeah, so that's it. I'm going to, wet this now. Let's see what it does if I add some water. If it will resist a little bit more. Then I'm going to go touch up those little areas. And the great thing is if you do this and you're like, oh, you know what? I might want some more yellow on there. You just go over it again. You know, it's no big deal. And like I said, this is printer paper. So obviously it's not water paper or mixed media paper. So when you put water on it, it's going to soak through. It does a little of its own thing. I'm just showing you what to do. Um, but yeah, and then I'm just going to kind of go and I can wait till it's drier, but I just want to show you guys. And then I can just lift it up from there and you have a very cool um, little design there. So this helps, like I said, in your art journal, in your mixed media paintings, in your on your ATC cards, um, whatever. If you're making cards for somebody, you know, whatever you do, whatever you do art-wise, it's a lot of fun to do. And it's fun to do with the kids because white school glue is so cheap. And, um, you know, what a fun way to do that. Now, you can also, have, if you have a stencil, maybe you have a favorite stencil, you can also take the glue on a uh, sponge brush or a brush and put it through the stencils and lift it off, let it dry, and then you can do a whole thing like that, right? You pick it up and then you still have the glue and it'll resist and it'll be really cool. So well, let me know what you think down below. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you like these little tidbits now and then. And um, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.